Hi kids, it's me again, Mr. Tony. I'm back. We've been off for a few weeks. Uh, we celebrated the 4th of July and it's summertime and that means we're going to be starting our summer session. And what are we going to do in our summer, ses uh, summer session? We're going to be doing some more video art. Actually, you'll notice it says arte. Why does it say arte? Well, that's art in Spanish, okay? Arte. It's just art with an E at the end, and it's uh, art in Spanish, arte. And why did I write arte? Well, uh, we've decided for the summer, uh, the teachers are going to be doing a, uh, uh, a theme for the entire summer session about different countries of the world, okay? And the first country we're going to be doing this first week, each week we're going to do a different country, uh, but the first week we're going to be doing the Dominican Republic. And they speak Spanish down there in the Dominican Republic, and they would call art arte. Okay, so the Dominican Republic. What are we going to learn about the Dominican Republic? Well, we're going to learn where it is, uh, what kind of culture they have, and what is culture? Well, culture is the uh, kind of food uh, they eat in a country, the kind of clothes they wear, the kind of music they listen to, and the kind of art they make, okay? And that's what I'm going to be concentrating on, uh, the kind of art they make. But first, let's, uh, let's, let's learn about where this country is. Okay, some of you may know where it is. Some of you may even come from the Dominican Republic. I know we've had a few students that have been from the Dominican Republic. Or, or, or you may have family from there. Or you may have uh, family from uh, countries or places that are down near the Dominican Republic. Okay, but where exactly is it? Well, I've made a map of the United States. It's not the best map, but it should give you the idea, the basic idea. Right, this whole funny shape here is the United States, our country, and over here says NJ, and that's New Jersey. That's our state, okay? This is in the Northeast. And if you go south, down along the coastline, this is the ocean over here. This is the Atlantic Ocean. Some of you may have even been to the Atlantic Ocean or may have gone to the beach over the break. It's been pretty hot, so that would be a fun thing to do. And you can spread out since you're all being careful about the virus still. And the beach is nice and open. You get put some space in between you and uh, jump in the water in the Atlantic. Okay, but anyway, let's continue with our geography. Uh, we're up here in New Jersey and going south all the way down to Florida. Okay, that's Florida down there. Okay, that's down the south, and it gets hotter down there. Okay, and if you keep going south and you go past Florida, you are now in the, the Caribbean. Okay, this whole area is called the Caribbean. Okay, and, it, and right here you have the Caribbean Sea. Okay, and it's a very tropical area. And right off the coast of uh, Florida there is an island, uh, and that is Cuba. That's another country. Cuba, and that's right near Florida. And if you go a, a little ways past Cuba, it says DR, that's the Dominican Republic. Okay, and that shares an island with Haiti. Okay, that's that big, well, it's actually a pretty small island compared to the rest of America. Uh, but it's an island surrounded by water by the Caribbean, the Caribbean Sea. There's a couple different ways of saying uh, Caribbean. You can say Caribbean or Caribbean. I think when you're talking about the Caribbean as an area, that's when you say Caribbean. If you're using it as an adjective, I don't want to do a uh, English lesson now, but if you're using it as an adjective and you're describing, uh, say, the art they make down there, you call it Caribbean art or Caribbean food. Okay, and this is the Caribbean Sea, and these are Caribbean islands. Okay, and the Dominican Republic is on this island here, shared with Haiti, and that's the island of Hispaniola. And then right next to it is uh, another island, a smaller island, uh, which is part of America. And some of you may be from there. Uh, I know that some of uh, our teachers are from there. They speak Spanish there also. They say arte. And that's uh, Puerto Rico over there. 
right here is the Dominican Republic. Okay, so that's what we're going to be thinking about all week. Uh, your teachers are going to be doing projects, arts and crafts probably, with you and different fun things to do. We're going to try and keep it fun and easy because it's summertime. And unfortunately, we don't have this school where we can just hang out and you know have a good time. But we'll we'll try to make it fun. I'll try. Anyway, okay. So the art of the Dominican Republic. That's what I wanted to start with. I wanted to show you some art from the Dominican Republic because I really have no idea what what art of the Dominican Republic is like. I kind of guessed since it's in the uh, in the Caribbean uh, and everything down there in the Bahamas and, and all the uh, Cayman Islands and all those vacation places, it, everything's kind of colorful because it's warm. So things are colorful. The houses are colorful. Uh, the, the food is colorful. The clothing is colorful. Okay. And so I assume that the art would be colorful too. And I'm correct, I'd say. Here's a painting, and it's very colorful. It's got all these colors. And they're all kind of spread around nice and evenly. So it's very colorful. If you look closely, it's a painting of people. I guess the uh, people of the Dominican Republic. And there's, there's uh, ladies. Maybe there's some men to it. But it seems like there's a lot of ladies, and they're wearing these head wraps. I'm not sure what those are called. They're like bandanas wrapped around their heads. All right? But the overall feel is very colorful. There's some baskets, there's some pineapples. Uh, it's almost like a design, even though it has uh, figures of people represented in there and bananas and stuff. It feels like a design with lots of tropical colors, I'd say. Okay, and that's one piece I found. And I found another piece, which is similar. Well, it doesn't have as many people in it, but it has similar colors all different colors, uh, yellows, oranges, reds, greens, browns, blues. Oh, it's very colorful. And then another piece, same thing. If you look at these two side by side, you'll see how similar they look. They look like they're almost part of the same picture. And I think they're different artists, actually. And this one has people in it as well. And then it's got fruits down here and it's got houses and the houses are all colorful. And then farther out is uh, the beach and the sea, the Caribbean Sea. Okay, it's an island nation. Okay, so that's the art of the Dominican Republic. So for starters, I thought we'd do a little warm-up lesson. And uh, we're going to do a little design based on this. Okay, but we're not going to do all the detail. Uh, the uh, the arms and the heads and the headdresses and the pineapples and all that detail. We're just going to make a design of it, which means it's just shapes and colors. Okay, it's kind of abstract. Okay, and I noticed in all of these pictures something else besides the colors. The shapes were all kind of curved. It's a lot of curved, nice curves, nice soft curves. Okay, as opposed to harsh angles. A lot of nice curves. So that's what we're going to do. Kind of a curved looking design. Okay, and if you're going to work along with me, all you'll need is paper and a pencil to begin with and then some crayons. Uh, if you don't have that, you can just watch. And if you want to just relax, you can do that too. Just relax and watch and learn a thing or two. Okay, so here we go some Dominican Republic design. And I'm gonna begin by making just kind of a bump like that. Maybe another line, follow the same shape, and then I'll do another bump over here. And the same thing, a second line, and another bump over here, and over here. And that's all I'm gonna do, just kind of these curved bumps, these arcs overlapping a little bit or one being on top of the other. Another one up there, maybe one there, 
Maybe one over there. And one over here. And I'm gonna fill in the whole thing so it has the same feeling as this. This is all filled in. There's no ground, there's no landscape. There's no single person that you focus on. It's just solid wall-to-wall -wall curves and shapes and people and pineapples and baskets and stuff, but it has a kind of this uh, overall design look to it. And that's what I'm trying to get here, kind of, with these curves. I wanted to keep it simple today. I didn't want to get too involved with uh, any representational art. Uh, drawings of people and heads and eyes and noses and stuff. Wanted wanted to do just a warm up lesson here. Simple shapes. And we're making making a design, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna try and give it a uh, Caribbean look, a Dominican Republic look. Okay, so there. That's the uh, uh, basic outline of the design. Now I'm going to fill it in with different colors. And I noticed here that the two most prominent colors, I'd say, are blues and purples and oranges. And there's a little bit of yellow here and there. And some green, too. But I think the blues, there seems to be a lot of blues and a lot of orangey-red colors. So that's what I'm going to start with, the blue. Okay, I've got uh, blue-green here. I'll pick a shape. I'll fill it in. Oh, you know what else is in here? I was thinking there, there are some dark colors. Almost black, but brownish colors all around. So maybe, you know what I'll do first, before I get to all the colorful stuff, I'm gonna take my brown and I'm gonna go over these lines. Uh, that'll give it a little bit of an earthy look. Because brown is an earthy color. And if I don't add a little brown or some earthy color to it, it might just look like a rainbow design. to have a Caribbean look. And there are browns in there. Browns and greens. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna just go over those lines with the brown. Oops, went too far. I made a mistake. I can't erase it. That's a little mistake. Sometimes I rush myself because I don't want you to get too bored. And if it ever gets boring and I'm just kind of coloring and doing the same thing over, you can skip ahead, okay? But on, now I'm going to color this whole thing in. And I don't think I'm going to do that all while you're, while you're watching or I won't record all that. I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of it, and then I'll stop, and then uh, I'll finish it on my own, and I'll show you next time. But I just want you to get the idea uh, first with a little bit of uh, coloring. Okay, blue over here. Oh, you know what? I forgot the brown there. Brown line. Hold my paper like this. And I gotta make sure I got it in the camera frame there. I'm a little rusty. It's been a couple weeks, so I have to get back in the swing of things. And I'm assuming the same will go for you since you haven't been doing school for a couple of weeks and now we're back. We're back at it doing video art. But we'll try to keep it nice and relaxing because it's the summertime. It's just too bad we don't have the school classroom to just hang out in and do Play-Doh and 
craft projects and sand projects, but we'll make the best of it here, okay? You know what, one more shape with blue. I'll do blue down here. that and maybe a little blue up here. Yeah, that's too rough. I need to fill it in a little better. I don't want to set a bad example for you. That's a little better. This too, this could be done better. Again, I don't want to spend too long fussing with it. It can't be very interesting or exciting watching me color. But I think the whole thing overall is hopefully interesting. Okay, so that's blue. And I did that because you notice the blue is kind of here and there. It's here, 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 here. here. It's kind of spread out in, in an even way. So that's what I'm trying to do on my picture here. I have blue, 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 blue. That's a light blue. That's a, actually, that's a blue-green. You know, let's repeat that over here too. You know, when I do these things, I have a rough idea in my head what I'm going to do, but I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Unless I've done it before, and I've never done this before. I've never looked at the art of the Dominican Republic. I actually did a, uh, a couple of uh, pieces of art a long time ago that was supposed to be related to the tropics. And you know what? I'll show that to you. You might like that. And there's another lesson we're doing later in the week. And it would be appropriate to look at that. So I will show that to you then. Okay, so there's some blue. And let me do some orange now. A couple of oranges and I'll wrap it up for this lesson. An orange here. Right, and maybe an orange over here. And if you're doing this, you can continue the same as I've been doing. If you've got your outline with brown and you can just fill it in, I'd say with mostly blues and oranges and you spread them out evenly, blues and oranges, and then a few reds and some greens. That would be it. That would be our first lesson for the summer session. But like I said, I'm gonna stop right after this shape. Okay, I'll stop right there. And then I'm gonna continue on and I'll finish it up and I'll show you the, the final product next time, okay? And if you're doing it, you continue on. I, I would love to see your final product. And if you do have a final product, the final product you want to share with me, uh, send a picture to your teacher and then they can send it over to me. Or you can send it to directly, you send it directly to me and my uh, email address. Oh, let's see, what is it? I believe it's tgriffin at northwestessex.org. And I think I've said that before. That's my school email address. So if you have a nice uh, picture you can take of your art, you just send it to me. It would be a little JPEG is what they call it. You just send it to me and I'll put it on the website or I'll, at least I'll get to look at it because I'd, uh, I'd love to see what you're doing. Since we've been separated here, it's, uh, it's not as much fun being able to see your work. And I always like your work more than mine. I mean, I just kind of I have like kind of a basic idea how to put things together, but what you guys do with it always makes it much more interesting. Okay, so that's our uh, first day of the Dominican Republic, uh, some Caribbean art, and uh, I hope this turns out well, and you'll see it next time. Okay, so that's it for today. Bye-bye.